sharing. Quinn is pretty happy in that. Mino, of all the spots that you could sit, do you really have to squeeze up to fill that much? He does like his own space. You just want to be next to Phil? Listen to her. Well, as long as Teddy and mine are comfortable, I guess that's what's important in Phil's bed. It does. So I swear this bed was bought for you. It's just you're part of a pack. And the pack likes to share. That was all the boys then. Milo, Milo, why don't you come here? Oh, there you go, Phil. You take up that space. Get your bed back. You claim your bed back. Because Milo's not going anywhere, I'm afraid. He's sticking with it. Come back in five minutes and they'll be asleep together. And here we are almost a month later. Milo is still bed sharing. At least it's big enough, hey Phil? So yeah, Milo often <laughs> partners up with old man Phil because he's the calmest. So yeah, I'm not sure Phil's too keen on sharing his bed, to be honest. But I think out of all the pets, Milo's the one that he would tolerate the most bunking up next to him. Wouldn't you, Phil? Yeah. Good boy. You are a good boy. At least he's the smallest, so you get the most space. Sleepy boy. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, if you are interested, I will leave a link in the description box below of this bed if you do want to shop it. Right, Phil, give me a high five. Say bye. No? I'll leave you to sleep. Sorry for disturbing you.